Well, Todd, I'm just going to step right out of the way and show you exactly what we are seeing behind us here. We are about a half mile from the fire line at one of the staging areas. This is the gun club that has been evacuated as a result of these flames. You can see them out there in the distance. They are coming up over the hills. This fire, as you said, 20,000 acres, 0% contained. We know that they did some protection measures on some homes on the Twin Butte and the Manan roads there. Uh, just in case this fire was to come back towards Highway 33 and jump it again, which was a concern earlier. This fire has been described as erratic. I want to bring in the Bureau of Land Management Public Information Officer Kelsey Griffey just to bring us up to date. Kelsey, what is the latest on this fire? The latest on this fire is it is now being estimated at 20,000 acres. It's making a strong push to the west. It's still many miles from uh, the interstate, but it is moving that direction now. It's still staying fairly active and we do expect it to burn through the night. And so we will have crews on the fire all through the night. And you had air crews here earlier. They have since been grounded. What's the plan of action overnight into tomorrow? So right now what we're seeing behind us here at the gun range is a burnout operation. So we had crews putting fire to the ground to create what we call a black line, hard black. We want it burned from us to the fire. So that'll help protect the gun club from any burning. And that is a concern. The gun club is the concern. Then there's also those homes where you did those protective measures earlier. Can you talk to me about those? On our drive out here, we saw some fire crews staged at those homes. Can you talk to me about that? So as we saw driving by the homes, we had structure engines uh, next to each of the homes. Uh, there was about four homes potentially threatened if the fire were to change direction. So that's part of the burnout operations that are being done is to create that hard, cold black line to help prevent the fire from changing direction and heading towards the homes. We heard earlier this fire human caused. Do we have any more information about that at all? We don't have any more information on that. Our investigators are working diligently on that. And so once they have an official cause that will be released. You're seeing a lot of flames as we look out over here. These are recreated by you guys to create that fire line, that black cold area that you were talking about. Why is that so important here? It's so important because we don't want any unburned fuel between us and the fire. We don't want the fire to have anything to burn. And so by putting down fire on the ground, we're then burning up all the vegetation between us and that fire, which then creates that large expanse of fire line. And as you can hear, we have a dozer coming around the corner too that'll be putting in line also. And that dozer, you how many dozers do you have on the fire line right now? We have three at this time. And what are their purpose to in this fire? So dozers serve a similar purpose as putting fire to the ground. They're creating that fire line around the perimeter. And from dozer line, we can burn off like you see here, or it's also securing the fire perimeter. And that helps us reach containment so that we know the fire won't spread past that. You're taking away any of that fuel that vegetation that fire needs to consume to continue burning. And you talked to me about the fire behavior has been described as erratic and active. Yes. So the fire behavior that we saw today was extreme. We had reports of fire whirls, which are like fire tornadoes, and that's a sign of very erratic winds, extreme fire behavior happening. Obviously, the fire has been active since it's made a strong six mile push through the day and then it's making progress into the evening as it's cooling down. Kelsey, should anybody be prepared? I mean, obviously there's some concerns about homes. What do people need to do if they need to evacuate to be prepared? So at this time, that's not a concern. We don't have any evacuations in place except for the gun range. And But if evacuations were to occur, I advise people to always have their, their loved ones know where they are. That includes pets prescriptions, important documents, all of those types of things ready to go. Kelsey, thank you so much. Kelsey Griffey, the public information officer with the Bureau of Land Management. You can see the fire back here behind. It's very active, very erratic. They will be here throughout the night battling this fire. They are saying
firefighters here on the ground, and they are going to continue to battle this fire tonight. We're going to have the latest on KIDK.com and then obviously throughout this newscast as needed. Reporting live along the Manambu, I'm Chris Oswald. Todd, back to you.